We are back with another crowd control. This is two weeks in a row. Yeah, hey, we we're gotta back. Keep this we're back. Got to keep this streak running. There's lots of things well, going yeah, we, on. Well, yeah, we said we'd be, we'd be back when the Kickstarters, uh, the crowdfunding started coming, and it's definitely coming. It's yeah, coming we've got, for sure. we're going to have a lot on the channel. We're yeah. not even going to talk about here, but we have a lot of content coming, plus this episode of Crowd Control. We're going to start with a couple that are already running. Yeah, I'm going to start with Heroes of Barcadia, Heroes for Hire. This can be a little bit of a divisive game. Let's get drunk. Uh, Let's get that's drunk. That's it. Uh, if you've never seen Heroes of Barcadia, your character is like a pint glass that's filled with your drink of choice. It does not Diet have, Coke. It could be Diet Coke, 100%. The fact that people do use it as a drinking game and for some, maybe it becomes a little more fun the longer the game, <laughs> the game goes. The game just gets more and more fun as you play it but, somehow. But your character is literally this cup and like it, it's you're adding and removing liquids from it as you play the game based on what you're doing. So it's been around for a while. This is from Roller Crate. It's very popular, but it's back with a new expansion called Heroes for Hire. It's introducing a ton of new mechanics. There's like this new mystery die, and there are four new characters I think that people are gonna be excited to play. Uh, that's the Big Swig, the Sip Gin, the Dram, and I, it's, there's some kind of Centaur. Uh, I don't even know. the. The the Anta Perel, the I don't know. How None to of it, it matters. You're drinking, but you're drinking. You're playing as these characters. You're going on an adventure. Uh, what's really cool, the neatest part of this expansion is the Voodoo Ranger character. I don't know how many people are familiar with Voodoo Ranger, the uh, brewery. Oh no, it's I, a, I am not. It's a very popular brewery, and they're known for their like iconic cans. So now you have the Voodoo Ranger as a playable character. Oh, the licensing opportunities what? with that game are endless. I know we're here in Indianapolis. We have Sun King. I'd love to see Sun the Sun King. King. Three the Floyds up north. <laughs> the opportunities, if that's where they're going, the opportunities really are endless. But it is pretty cool because the Voodoo Ranger mascot already looks like he would fit in with this world. Well, the next game that's running has nothing to do with drinking. And I mean, unless you want to drink, you can drink with yeah. any game, really. Uh, but it's called Natera. This one is from Horizon Games. I actually came across this at Origins earlier this year. And it is a beautiful, beautiful looking game. It's got anthropomorphic animals, of yep. course. Uh, but it's set in a post-apocalyptic world that kind of has a fresh take, you know, it, like it's very positive outlook. Um, but what's happened is all the humans have died because they were developing yeah, something to get smarter and it backfired. I think all the Final humans the died, but kind of. <laughs> and it helped all the animals. They came out of the forest to kind of get things going. Um, but the game mechanics themselves are inspired by games like Terraforming Mars. Ooh, I like that. Uh, you know, so you're going to be a little worker placement. I think they listed Dune Imperium as inspiration. Oh, interesting. Okay. Of course, well, these I'm are great then. games to name drop when you're saying, this is what my game is like. <laughs> sure. But I genuinely believe these guys. They're really nice guys from Canada. And the game has a mix of worker placement and tableau building. So you're definitely going to feel that. One unique aspect of it, because I haven't had a chance to play it, is the cards, when you're playing them, all the resource costs, there's a bunch of le resources listed. You only have to pay one of those types of resources. So if you have a particular engine with one type of resource, you can get almost any card played, but you don't have to pay sure. all of the resource costs. It's a really interesting game. Well, I think the next one that I want to talk about follows up with that. It's Emberleaf. This is from City of Games. More this animals. The, more animals. More adorable, cute animals with fantastic, adorable artwork. I'm a sucker for those box covers with like the... The minimalistic, oh, well, I don't know, I'm just suckers If you want to get me hooked right away, have a big white box with not very little on it, like Time Stories. Well, this is the same designer and publisher as I Love Cats. Yeah. I Love Cats. I Love Cats. And it's a very different game. This is probably a yeah. little heavier game than for what you would find sure. there. But it still is, the artwork is phenomenal and the game is phenomenal. So you're building your home this in the city of Emberleaf. And you're doing a lot of the things you'd expect to do in a kind of Euro-y yeah. building game. You're gaining resources. You have to clear out areas to build. You're building buildings. But you're doing it with this tableau system that's constantly kind of moving. You have a grid in front of you. And these characters are getting like pushed out and moved around. And your tableau is constantly changing. So you're trying to take advantage of you know, the best possible situation you have in front of you. So there's a little bit of comboing, there's a little bit of engine building. I'm gonna stop you right there. We're gonna have more content. Oh, that's on, true. We're we gonna will. have more content on the channel. That's why we have it here behind us. So look for our preview on this. We're really excited about this. Frank West over at City of Games. Fantastic yeah, great guy. Designer. Just awesome, awesome guy. And this is sort of the first 
meteor Euro game that he's done since his original game yeah. uh, that we covered for him many, many years ago. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. City, City of, of Kings. City of Kings. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's been a minute. It has it's been, been a minute. A minute but, yeah, that. look for our uh, content on Emberleaf All soon. right. And the next one that we want to talk about is one that we're I think we're both very excited about because it comes as from... As video a, gamers? Yeah, as video gamers and as fans of the designer because the designer of Earth... Yes! Who we Maxine. love has a new board game based on Rayman. Yeah, based on Rayman. This is a video game, if you're not familiar with it, from a company Ubisoft. That is, I think when it originally came out, it was supposed to be their approach to a Mario platforming type game. But since then, Rayman has taken many, many, many forms. <laughs> sure, absolutely. You know, literally in the games, but also across the various games. And this one seemed to embrace a lot of what you'd expect from a Rayman game. It's got a lot of, like, kind of platforming aspect, in the, and it looks to recreate the experience of playing Rayman. Sure. It's got some race elements. Uh, it looks amazing. The figures, I don't know if these are going to be in the base game, but there if are... If you back it, you know. There are, there looks to be an option for fully painted miniatures, and the miniatures look fantastic. Again, if you're a fan of Rayman... And even if you're not, I'm. I didn't know. It just know looks it was, like fun. I didn't know it was Maxime until today, when we were looking into it. And there's a picture of him, and I was like, he's familiar. <laughs> What's, That's right. He was at our MVM party at Gen Con, right, right. and he designed played Earth, Earth with us at, yeah. uh, at our MVM party. And yeah, again, like if you have never played Rayman, or you know, it doesn't matter. I don't think this is a game that you need to know the IP to be able to have fun with it. It is, it's a silly race game. Yeah. You're, you're playing across this board that looks like a platformer. You're running, you're rescuing these things, you're getting power-ups, you're slapping things out of your way, you're jumping, you're crawling. All this kind of cool stuff driven by cards. And again, beautifully illustrated. Not oh. just the minis, but the board, the cards, all of the tokens, everything in the game just looks incredibly gorgeous yeah really well done and like i said i'm even more interested to see what the game is like because typically i'd look at a game like this and think okay there's an ip it's it's even a, a childlike ip sure typically those games aren't going to offer much but with maxime involved i'm kind of curious <laughs> well to and see it's flyos i'm a big fan of flyos from the vampire days uh yeah. which is still one of, you know i loved that that game series so yeah, very excited about that. You got one more? I've got one more. Uh, we talked about their first game a little bit, maybe on a crowd control even. Uh, yeah. That was called... Uh, Villages? Villages or Villagers of Oakdale. This one is Dungeons of Oakdale. If you remember that one at all, it was a... It's a rolling, right? This is as well. Writing, is, I use that term loosely. There's some drawing and stuff. There's some really interesting <laughs> things. I, I really want to just break this open to show you things. We'll get some pictures to yeah. illustrate some of these points. But this is a dungeon crawler that's rolling right. And like their other game, there's a big board after you roll all the die that has a big circle where you place all the die. And that circle is going to have different things that happen. If I take this die, it's going to mean this, but the color of the die means something else. The value of the die yeah. has other implications. In this one, you're going to be moving through a dungeon that's in front of you. You have a little dungeon map, and as you move through the dungeon, you're able to pick things up, so you're going to be moving different amounts of spaces. But then, you're also, the components, I am going to open it up, Ryan, I'm sorry. The components, this is so cool. They've got these little sword pens. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Here's the here's the oh, board, but cool. check out these sword pens. I that's cool. Dry erase marker with a little sword handle. Not to mention, everyone's gonna get this half of a shield. What's this half of a shield for? This is the last thing I'll say. It's the coolest part of this game. There's gonna be a monster board next to your map board that represents the monster that you're kind of dealing with at the moment, and that monster has a bunch of dots around him. And depending on what die you take, you're going to be able to go from one of those dots to any other dot, and you use this on the monster board to draw a oh, line cool. through the monster. And then once you've drawn another line that intersects on the monster, you're doing damage to the monster. That's, There's that also is little really cool. bonuses cool. to collect. Very, very cool idea, not to mention these uh, components are just brilliant. Seems like a fun concept. twist on Roll and Write, for sure. It, incredibly fun twist on a Roll and Write. I'm really excited. Yeah. I haven't played this. I want to get this get one this, to the table. But we are going to get this to the table and try it. Maybe we'll do a live stream yeah, or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. But that's the last one we wanted to talk about this week on Crowd Control. Yeah, so thank you all so much for joining us again. We'll probably be back next week and the week after. And, and you know, maybe around November it might start dying off again. We, we might Christmas, slow down but, for a minute here. But we'll, we'll see. We're glad to have you all. If you'd like to join in the discussion, please come to 
the Discord. Tell us the games that we're missing, the games that you're excited about, things that you want us to talk about in future crowd control episodes. But until we see you again, make sure everyone has fun at the table. Mm -hmm.